Don't you just hate it when you get a song stuck in your head? It always seems like that song Green Acres can get stuck in my head, but now I have another one. So recently, I started listening to country music again. I used to listen to it back in the day, back in the late 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s. And I kind of got off on it when I got a car with uh, the satellite radio in it. And I found all those fun stations, like the 70s and the 80s, because that's what I grew up listening to. So I started listening to those stations, but now recently I thought, you know, I think I'm going to go back to listening to country. So I found on my radio one called Prime Country that does the 80s and the 90s, which is perfect. And uh, this past few days, they have been doing a lot of, I think of Alan Jackson songs all day long to promote his new album. And this one comes on and it's called Where I Come From. And when he explains the song, he says, everybody calls it that uh, cornbread and chicken song. And like, that is so stuck in my head because I hear it every day more than once when I'm in my car. So, you know, I just, I love that song. I really do. And it is, it's really catchy. It's a great song, but uh, it's, I woke up this morning and it was still in my head. So, <laughs> but you know, I do love Alan Jackson. So uh, today, I am in my dining room, as you can see, and I'm gonna get my tablescape done here, and I have a little DIY project too. So let's get started. Well, the first thing I did was put these chargers on. And these are burlap chargers that I got at Tuesday morning. They're just burlap that's uh, obviously glued on plastic chargers, black ones. I've had these for a couple years. I also had the option of using these wood grain ones, but I didn't really like the actual color of them. And I got these at uh, Michael's. So I, I, I laid it down, I just didn't like, I like the color of the burlap better going with my runner. The next thing I'm gonna do is add my white plates. These are uh, well, my mother's plates and they're iron stone. And I love the little swirls in them here. And I'm going to set these down next, and then I will be doing the napkins. Now I decided just to go ahead and lay my napkins like this on the white plates. I had thought, I'm <laughs> like how it fell, thought about using these, and uh, I'm just going to throw them on here just really quick, like this. And I was just going to put another plate on, like so it's super simple but I decided to do something different so I have my napkins just folded and then I'm going to be putting the salad plates on top so let me go ahead and get the salad plates on top and then I'm going to show you what the DIY is going to be now that I have all the salad plates on, let me show you what I'm gonna be putting on top of the salad plates. Now, isn't this so cute? Now, I made this, and all it is is my chicken wire ribbon, and I took a few picks, put them together, and everything is hot glued to the chicken wire ribbon. So, let's see how I made these real quick. So what I used was some of my chicken wire ribbon. I cut off a piece, however size you want, and I just pressed it in the center, like so. And I left some pieces, I don't know if you can see where I cut it, and I'm just gonna bend those back. Like this. So that is the little bow type thing. Then I have this greenery that I cut off of a larger uh, greenery bush that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then these are some pieces off of a flowering, little flowering pick that I had. Now I'm just going to put all these together. And with the flower, I'm going to put it at the bottom. Take the stem of the flower 
and wrap it around. Okay, then I'm going to take some, I have some green ribbon, and I'm going to hot glue it here on the back. So I'm going to wrap this ribbon around everything. I'm just going to wrap it all the way down. I'm probably only going to need about so much left there. Cut that off. Then I will be hot gluing the end. Hot glue here. And yes, it got my finger. <laughs> Oh, you think by now for how many times I've been burned with a hot glue gun, I wouldn't feel it. Great piece here. Let's cut it off. Okay, so then you have your little flower pick. And I just hot glued it on to the chicken wire. Now you can wire it if you want to or take some other smaller ribbon and tie it. But I just hot glued it because I might pop this off of this and use it on something else. Okay. I think it's going to stick. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. And there it is. So these are very simple to make. And, you know, you could also make these into napkin rings. And, you know, one way that I like to do is just use a hairband on here. You can uh, attach it either, I don't know if hot glue would hold, but you could wire everything together and use it as a napkin ring. Or, you know, actually be a cute boutonniere too, wouldn't it? Sure would. Also, I thought about and I saw these at Walmart. They were little like gift tags, but they were wood. So you could put something like that and put people's name and use it as a place card. I don't have them, but that would have been something I would have done here with these. Just have a little name tag on there. And these are actually more place card holders. So now I need to put some silverware on here and find some glasses then it will be all done. So I've added the silverware and my glasses and here's a close-up of the glasses that I used. These are actually the honeycomb style that I would use for my bee theme, but I thought, you know, it kind of looks like chicken wire. So I decided to use them in here. Now, uh, I have everything on here that I'm gonna use. I was doing a little more farmhouse to it. And I think I accomplished that. So let me take the camera off the tripod and I'll go around the table for some close-ups.
I really love how my tablescape turned out today, and I also really love these. Now, I, you know, maybe I should have turned them into napkin rings. I don't know. I still think the placeholder thing is a much cuter idea, and I really wish I would have had those little gift tags to because you would just tuck it in, you know, on one side in there. And you know, you could also add. I was going to add a little bit of some yellow ribbon in here too. But I thought I'd just keep it a little, little simple for right now. But uh, I really do like the, the place card holder idea. So that, you know, of course that boutonniere too. Yeah. <laughs> many, many things you can use with this. So, uh, you know, that song is still in my head. <laughs> I cannot get it out of my head. No, I really love the song. I really do. And it is funny because my husband was like, he heard it too. And we went out to eat yesterday afternoon and we were coming home because I told him I said that song is still in my head. He says, well, isn't that what you were raised on, cornbread and chicken? <laughs> Just because I lived in Oklahoma doesn't mean, you know, I ate a lot of cornbread. Actually, we really didn't. <laughs> Mama didn't really make cornbread. She did make fried chicken though. Mama made some really good fried chicken. Um, the only time I really remember eating cornbread is the small town that we lived in in Oklahoma hosted the county free fair and uh, the VFW booth always had cornbread and beans so I know we always went and ate that but I, I just really don't remember my mom making a lot of cornbread just every once in a while. So that is going to do it for the video today. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I'd like to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell to get all the notifications of my new videos coming up and also if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up because that does help my channel out a lot and I'm hoping to get to 20k subscribers here soon so I can do another giveaway that would be so great I love doing giveaways for you guys but uh, you know I don't think there's anything else for I'm going to do today. I do have some other DIYs coming up. I'm going to be doing some patriotic things for the 4th of July and possibly a little more farmhouse DIYs too. So be sure to stay tuned for that coming up. I don't know if I'm going to get them this week, but I'm going to do another tablescape. That's going to be in my breakfast nook uh, on the other side of this wall is my breakfast nook. And I'm going to do my bee theme in there. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.